Hey, back here with another review. Um, this time it's not so much on one book as it is a set or a genre of books. Um, I'm a busy mom of a two year old and it's hard to fit reading in sometimes. But if you're like me and you absolutely have to read or else you go insane, um, what you might want to consider doing is if you're a busy single parent is picking up an anthology. Now an anthology is a bunch of short stories basically but they're not usually from sometimes they're from one author and sometimes they're not. I like to get mine from an independent publisher called Woodland Press and it's from my home state which is West Virginia so that's where I like to get them from. This is one that I got Sorry. called Mountain Magic Spellbinding Tales of Appalachia. It's really good. I think everybody picks out their favorite when they read a book like this. Um, mine was the top hat. I'm drawn to certain um, authors' works because several of them reappear, reappear in these books. And I'm very um, drawn to one person that I've noticed. So... <laughs> Um, another one that they have did was Fed from the Blade. I really like the cover on this one. I just think that it's very down to earth and homegrown kind of thing. Um, and in this one, I absolutely love the story. I think this one is the one that Garbage Man Stan is. Oh yes, Garbage Man Stan by Frank on page 23. Yes, this this is a good one. Um, this one I think is very amusing to read. Um, I haven't actually got very far in it yet. Um, but I think that I did like the Rock Ridge Ringer which is the first story in the book. Um, I haven't finished this one yet because I kind of like to skip around in there. If I don't like it, I don't read it. But these are very good. And this is Hills of Fire, Bare Knuckle, bare knuckle uh, Stories of Appalachia. Okay, and then the final one that I have is Specters and Coldest, which is a book of short stories about ghosts in coal mines. And since that is my state's main occupation, it's very near and dear to my heart because my husband's a coal miner and my daddy's a coal miner, so that's just what I do. Um, I think that it's a very good book. Um, in this one, I believe that my favorite one was Old Men on Porches by Steve... Rasnick Tim and it's very good so and like I said if you're really really busy read these because for one you're supporting local writers which is always a good thing and local businesses and for another like I said they're short you can squeeze them in at nap time or when your child is destroying your house that you just cleaned. Um, so pick up an anthology, a local one. See if you have any local presses in your state and look for anthologies and support them because it helps writers get off their feet and it helps um, local businesses which is always good and you know you'll get some stories that you can fit in that are relatively short so you can squeeze them in in like 10 minutes or so most of them so yeah read anthologies 